Have you ever noticed how every new at-home hair removal gadget promises permanent results? But the only thing permanent is that stubborn patch of regrowth mocking you two weeks later. Been there, done that, got the drawer full of half-used gadgets. I've tried IPL, I've tried creams, I've even tried budget home-use lasers. And honestly, most of them just slow the hair down for a bit. Then it's back to business as usual. So if you want something that actually lasts and you want your skin to look better in the process, oh, and that works on all skin tones and hair colours, except your white hair of course, then you're going to want to stick around for this. Because the laser in question today, and this is a genuine bona fide laser, isn't just another one trick pony. It's a double edged sword, permanent hair removal one side, professional skin rejuvenation on the other. And unlike those many flash and hope IPLs, this is real clinical grade diode laser technology. The kind that dermatologists use but shrunk down for the bathroom counter. All right. Let's start with the elephant in the room, IPL. Most home devices use IPL or intense pulse light. Now it sounds high tech, but it's basically an amped up, slightly glorified camera flash. IPL uses a broad spectrum of light, which means that only a fraction of its energy actually hits the melanin in your hair follicle. The rest, scattered, wasted, and sometimes absorbed by your skin, which is why IPL can be less effective and riskier for darker skin tones. It's also why IPL treatments can take forever. Often 20 plus sessions for a maybe acceptable reduction and then you still need regular top ups. I guess it's a bit like mowing the lawn instead of pulling out the weeds. What you're left with is a patchy finish that will eventually grow back in again. Enter the Vicure EpiPros 808 nanometer diode laser. Now this isn't just a scattered light show, it's a precision strike. The 808 nanometer wavelength is specifically absorbed by melanin in your hair follicle, bypassing the surface of the skin to penetrate right into the dermis where the follicles live. Now, that's the Goldilocks zone. Deep enough to destroy the follicle, shallow enough to avoid zapping fat or muscle. For context, skincare lasers like the Nera stay in the papillary dermis, which is more surface and less root action. On the other hand, 1056 lasers, like the Dermrays Revive, these penetrate deeper into the reticular dermis, which is great for collagen stimulation, but overkill for hair. 808 nanometers is the sweet spot for permanent hair removal, as well as skin rejuvenation. <laughs> All right, let's get nerdy for a second. The magic happening here is called selective photothermolysis, a term that basically means targeted heat destruction. The 808 nanometer laser energy is absorbed by melanin in the hair shaft and the follicle, and that energy turns to heat, which destroys the follicle's ability to regrow hair, but it leaves the surrounding skin untouched. Why does this matter? Because melanin is the pigment that gives hair its color. The more melanin, the more energy gets absorbed, and the better the results. And it's the reason why coarse and dark hair responds so much faster to laser hair removal than fine and light hair. But the Vicure EpiPro is powerful enough, up to 30 joules per centimeter square, to work on that finer and lighter hair too. And here's where it gets interesting for all skin tones. The 8 to 8 nanometer wavelength is absorbed by melanin, but not by water water or hemoglobin. That means less risk of burns, less hyperpigmentation and safer treatment for Fitzpatrick skin types 1 through to 6. Yep, that means that darker skin tones can use this device safely but you do have to follow the guidelines. Better still, you light haired beings out there who struggle with hair removal can also benefit from this one. Like blondes, redheads and mousy light shades, you can enjoy effective hair removal, something that is notoriously hard to achieve with most other removal devices out there on the market. But I do need to mention that because the laser in this device focuses on the melanin in the hair and because pure white hair lacks that melanin that is required to generate the heat needed to kill the follicle root, that's the only situation that this laser is not going to be able to help with hair removal. Now, about that second edge of the sword that I mentioned earlier. The Vicure EpiPro isn't just for hair removal. Switch it to skin rejuvenation mode and it uses lower energy and different pulse settings to gently heat the dermis. This is going to stimulate your skin's fibroblasts, the cells that make collagen and elastin, without damaging the surface. Think of it as a mini collagen boot camp. The gentle heat triggers your skin's natural repair processes, boosting firmness, smooth texture and even helping with acne, with spider veins, with redness and with pigmentation. It's nowhere near as aggressive as a fractional CO2 laser but it's way more effective than any serum or LED mask that you're going to try. It claims to be able to give you brighter, firmer, more 
even skin with no downtime and no drama. And for the last six weeks, I've been putting this to the test and it really does deliver on what it claims. Okay, so let's talk features because this isn't just about raw power. It's about the technology and the smart design too. First up, this laser is true diode laser and not IPL. See, with this, you're gonna get a focused 808 nanometer beam, not a scattered flash. And that means deeper penetration, more effective follicle destruction, and real performance. This laser is also designed for universal use and is safe for all skin tones and hair types. And you can use it on your face, on your arms, on your chest, your back, your bikini area, and your legs. Basically, anywhere that you have any unwanted hair. You get up to 30 joules per centimeter square of energy. That's up to five times the energy of most home IPLs which essentially means fewer sessions and faster results, and it works even on that stubborn and hormonal hair. Now the Vicure Pro offers five million shots, which is marathon level durability, and you can treat your whole body, your partner's body, your friend's body, and still have shots left over for touch-ups over the following years, which makes this not only a great option for home users, but also for professional use, like in medispas, in salons, and for mobile hair removal specialists. This also comes with a built-in cooling system. Now, the Sapphire Tip chills the skin to zero to five degrees Celsius, so your skin stays cool and comfortable, even at maximum power. Basically, less pain, less redness, more comfort. This diode laser hair removal machine also comes with a 3.5 inch LCD touchscreen right here that makes it easy to pick your mode, set your energy and frequency and track your progress. No fiddly buttons and no guesswork. It also allows you to custom choose the settings that you need for your own skin tone, skin type, the area that you're gonna be treating, which it then uses to automatically adjust the energy intensity up or down for maximum safety and maximum hair removal. Now the head of this device has got a 12 by 14 millimeter opening which means that you can cover large areas quickly legs in 20 minutes yes please underarms in five oh, yeah <laughs> now you can switch most between hair removal and skin rejuvenation with one tap no extra gadgets no switching out of any parts literally tap and treat okay so one of the most common questions that people ask about these kind of treatments is do at home laser hair removal devices actually work and the short answer yes if you're using a real diode laser like the Vicure Epi Pro, which is the same type of technology used in salons and clinics. Now most IPLs just slow hair growth, but the Epi Pro destroys the follicle, and that means actual permanent reduction and not just a pause. Now you are gonna need six to eight sessions spaced out around about 28 days apart, but most people see up to 90% less regrowth after a full course. And this is the same number that you're gonna experience in professional settings too. Another question that a lot of people ask is is which laser hair removal is best for at home. So you're gonna to wanna to look for a true diode laser, ideally 808 nanometers, and the Epi Pro is as close as you'll get to a professional clinic device at home. High power, deep penetration, built-in cooling, and safe for all skin tones. Now, most home IPLs can't say the same. Now this one, it throws a lot of people after hair removal treatments, and it's a question that I've seen a bunch of times, which is, why is my hair growing back two days after a laser treatment? This is a classic, but after your session, you are gonna see some hair growing out, but it's not new growth, it's the treated hair being pushed out as your body sheds the dead follicle. Give it a week or two and those hairs will fall out naturally. Now, real regrowth takes weeks, so don't panic if you see stubble right after a session. But it's also important to remember that hair doesn't all grow at one time. Different hairs are growing at different times, so it just all depends on when you do your treatment, whether that hair is in the active growth phase, whether it's dormant, and when it's ready to naturally shed. And this is why it takes multiple sessions with a hair removal device, because you need to take care of those different growth stages of the different hairs, even in the same area. Now, six to eight treatments is generally gonna be enough to take care of most of those different hair growth phases and the timings of the individual hairs. And that's why you've gotta do multiple treatments. Okay, so a biggie here. Is it safe to do laser hair removal on yourself? And the answer, yeah, as long as you follow the instructions. The Vicure Epi Pro has got safety features like skin contact sensors, auto cooling, and protective eyewear, but you're not gonna wanna use it on open wounds, on tattoos, or over makeup. Ouch, ouchia, and waste of time. And you're always gonna wanna put on your protective eyewear. Snazzy. <laughs> because retinas, not replaceable. Now, if you're pregnant on photosensitizing meds or you have a skin condition, then check with your doctor first because they will know your needs better than anybody else online.
so that was set at two millimeters so I have got the little bit of stubble that I need for the laser frequency to be absorbed into the root of the hair generate that heat and get rid of it. The next step is that I'm just going to apply some water-based gel to under the arms. You can use any generic conductive gel or hair removal device gel. Really you just want that laser frequency just to penetrate really efficiently through from the device head into the skin without any pain or discomfort. So about a walnut size of the gel, I'm just going to spread this nice and evenly under the arm. Really nice generous layer. And I'll go through and do the other side after I've done this one, but I'm going to demo to you guys how I do under my arms. And you're not going to need to see both sides, so yeah, we'll do this side. Now I need to be really careful when I'm doing this treatment. Obviously I have the tattoo comes up towards the underarm area. I do not want to catch that because when I caught it up here, <laughs> yeah, not fun. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to get a little bit noisy now, so I am going to turn the device on. I'm going to select hair removal. I'm going to choose my skin type, which is a type 1 on the Fitzpatrick scale. And I'm going to be doing under the arm, so I'm going to select the underarm setting. I'm cooling on. Everything else is all preset now. Then all I'm going to do now to start this, press start on the machine. And then you've got a button right here on the side. If you push and hold it, it gets the skin, nice contact. Okay, so here's the recommended treatment schedule and what you can expect from your hair removal session. Now, post-treatment care is just as important as that pre-treatment care. So don't skip this. No hot water or steam for 24 to 72 hours because your skin is a bit sensitive after the treatment. You're definitely going to want to use sunscreen religiously and nothing lower than a 30 plus SPF. But ideally, you want to go broad spectrum, 50 plus if you can, especially on your face. Now, you totally should expect some redness, tingling, and that's normal and it means that the device is working. The redness, obviously, is generated a lot of heat in the hair follicles that heat brings blood flow to the surface so there is going to be some redness going on again super important just make sure that you do not run this over whether it's facial rejuvenation or laser hair removal over tattoos over dark moles I kind of caught the edge of one of my chest tattoos when I was doing this treatment and yeah ow and it also removed the pigment so yeah just be extra careful not to go over tattoos and if you do have a tattoo then you need to cover it it with like a white concealer and I mean a really thick concealer so that there is no pigment showing whatsoever but really it's best just to avoid them so is the Vicure EpiPro worth the investment well salon laser hair removal for full legs for bikini underarms and face you're looking at between five thousand and eight thousand dollars and you're still gonna need top-ups the Vicure EpiPro is a one-time investment under $1,100 and it's good for 5 million shots which like I said earlier is enough for you for your partner 
and your best friend too. And obviously it's not just for hair removal because the skin rejuvenation mode means that you're getting two treatments for the price of one. And to me, that's serious value. So this is the first home device that I've used that actually feels like clinic grade tech. And there's no secret, I have tried IPL hair removal devices previously on my channel and yeah, they paused hair growth for a little while, but that hair growth kicked back in after I stopped using the device. So if you are dedicated and you kind of got the time to invest in constant treatments month after month, year after year, then yeah, they can be a good choice. And if I'm honest, I thought that IPL was the best and only genuine option for kind of slowing down that hair growth and keeping it at a minimum until I met diode laser hair removal. Now when it comes to the hair removal under my arms, I am only two treatments in with this, but I can already 100% see a reduction in the amount of hair regrowth, the stubble that grows through. Now as someone who has been shaving under their arms for years, I kind of know what my regrowth density is after a couple of days. Two treatments and I would say that it's reduced by around about 30% already. I am gonna follow up in another video about how it's turned out after the full session, plus I'm gonna stop using it after the full session of treatment and then check in three months later and take a real close look at whether anything has actually regrown or what the regrowth rate is. But yeah, my skin is smoother, the hair is sparser and the sessions are way less painful than any IPL that I've tried. Is it pain-free? Not 100%, there is a little bit of discomfort. You've got to remember it is generating a lot of heat in the skin, but it's totally bearable and totally worth it. If I had to nitpick about anything, it is a bit bulkier than many of the other home use devices that I've tried. But but again, I need to take into account that this is a salon grade device. It can be used both professionally and by home users. The power that it puts out is huge. And the results that it gives, obviously, it needs all of this technology. It needs that extra power. It needs this size. And let's be honest, it's not huge, huge. It's just a bit bigger than a handheld device. So are at-home laser hair removal devices really worth it? If you pick the right one and you use it right, Absolutely. Just don't expect overnight miracles because consistency, science, and a little bit of patience are the real secret to smooth hair-free skin. For the time that I've had this, for the ease of use, for the power that I am feeling from it, and from the results that I'm already seeing, I've got a feeling that this is going to be a mainstay in my routine, and it's also something that I'm going to be using on my clients in professional settings over the coming months. And I guess that's about it for this one. Now, I am super curious to know if you've ever tried any at-home hair removal devices, what the technology was, what the device was, and what your results were. The comment section is now open, so feel free to get the conversation started. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. It has been super fun breaking down the technology of the Vicure Pro and how these hair removal lasers work. If you're still watching at this point, you're a superstar. Have an amazing day, and I really look forward to seeing you in my next video. So till then, TJ over and out.